What is good, everybody? Today, we are back with brand new WWE action figure news, man. And this news is actually quite big because we have a new leaked WWE action figure lineup for you, man. It's been it's been crazy. Ever since Comic-Con, I got, you know, I, I think I updated the channel. I got on here and I was talking about how it'd been dry. It's been very dry. Well, the last week or so, we've had a ton of news come at us right off the bat there. So it's been really nice to get back in the swing of the news. I always enjoy, you know, finding out the news and then sharing it here and discussing all of the different topics. Running through my head what I think about it and then getting your or feedback down in the comment section below. But with that being said, man, let's go ahead and dive into it. Today we're getting into WWE Elite Series 115, and we're going to dive into all the figures about this, talk about them, discuss it, let you guys know what I think it's going to be, the attires that I think they're going to be, and discuss everything. But Elite 115 is very interesting because it's a wave that we know a few figures, and then there were some mystery figures that we had no idea what they were. So we knew pretty much everything about the wave, and then there was two complete mysteries. We're going to dive into that today, man. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into it, man. Let's start things off with the figures that we know of, and then we'll get into the figures that we don't know. So if you guys didn't know about Elite 115 up to this point, well, now you'll know the entire wave at the end of the video. So first off, man, we do have our first figure, which is going to be the Kyrie Sane figure, which is a pretty nice figure. I think this is a great figure. You guys know that Bill McKenna, he is always crushing the Kyrie Sane figures, and I think this figure does look very good. I like everything that's going on with this figure. I think that the details are going to be really good here. She has, very similar to Asuka, she has a lot of intricate details about her figure, and we do get this nice umbrella here that looks like it's going to be all the way out. I doubt it's operational or whatever, but you can see there. I think the head sculpt's probably going to be a great likeness. You have a lot of stripes and colors and sculpts going on with this figure, so I'm excited for it. I think this is going to be a really good one. We have Kyrie Sane there. You get the pink and green. I think all all things considered, this figure is going to be very, very good. So we do have Kyrie saying the next figure in the set that we know about is going to be R-Truth. Now this R-Truth, he's a guy we have not seen in a very long time. We have not seen R-Truth in a minute. I think it has been, what, Elite 78 or something like that? And I'm not talking about the greatest hits. I know we got a greatest hits R-Truth, but this R-Truth will be the first one in a very long time. Now there's a lot of things to talk about with this one. It doesn't seem like they're changing too much. Now, they are giving him a new torso. The last few times we've seen our truth before this one, he has had the giant Drew McIntyre torso, which never has really fit him. He's also had the Macho Man torso before as well, but this one seems to be a lot more accurate. This looks to be the Xavier Woods torso or the Bobby Roode torso, which I think is a very good torso choice for our truth I think it works for him there. Got, I got that broad look to him. Head sculpt looks pretty good as well. He's going to come with a microphone. I hope that he comes with more than what we see here. It's just a pair of fists and a microphone. I hope that we see some sort of cloth goods, whether that be a shirt of some kind or something. I hope that it comes with something, but the likeness looks good here. It is kind of plain Jane. You do get his tattoos, but black wrist tape, black pants, black shoes. The leg mold looks to be the same exact leg mold that we saw in the Elite 78 R-Truth, which came with the 24-7 Championship. And also, this is pretty much a retooling of the John Cena legs that we've come to know, the crotch piece and everything. But we do know that that old shoe mold, the John Cena shoe mold that he used to come with, has been retired. So that's something that we can actually rest our head on, knowing that we're not going to see that shoe mold here. We're actually going to get the new shoe mold, which is going to be the Elite 113 Kofi Kingston. That shoe mold going forward. And that's what it looks like here in the render image, but I guess it could be an Ultimate Edition shoe, but I doubt it. Anyway, this is the second figure in the set. It's going to be our truth We already know what it looks like and all those things. The next figure in the set is going to be The Rock. It is going to be a final boss rock, which was obviously a very hot commodity in 2024 early on, and this is going to be our first WWE rock action figure that's going to have the updated tattoo with double jointed arms. So I had to finish it off with double jointed arms because we do know that we got two figures in single jointed arms in elite figure form that had the updated tattoo, but it was single jointed and it was a terrible formula. They gave him the damn Shane McMahon legs, the Cena shoes, the small torso, Terrible figure. Elite 81 Rock and then the Hollywood Elite Rock. Two terrible. I mean, I say terrible. It, it's terrible in the sense of me. I, I didn't like them. I didn't like either of those figures. I thought they were lifeless, just not good. This is going to be a significant upgrade. You're getting the baggy pants legs, which I think fit well. You're getting a nice vest going on there. Hopefully that will be cloth goods. You're getting a chain. You're getting hopefully a brand new Rock head sculpt. They, they usually, with the Rock, they repeat the same head sculpts over and over again. I hope this is brand new. Get the sunglasses. You get that vest in there. It's going to be a pretty cool figure. 
I think all things considered, it's going to be really nice. It's going to stand out on a shelf, and he won't be undersized. He's actually going to be about the size of the rock, which is always nice to see. So this figure should be great. I'm looking forward to this rock figure, and I think it's going to be an underrated one, kind of similar to the Elite, what was it, 107 Undertaker? Very, very underrated. I think this rock's going to be very underrated, so hopefully it will check all the boxes when it gets here. But the last figure that we already knew about in Elite 115 is CM Punk, and it is going to be his Royal Rumble return gear. I think that's what this was, right? It was the red, black, and blue, which looked good. And we don't know what the Chase variant is just yet. I have a couple ideas on what I think the Chase could be, but it wouldn't shock me if CM Punk was not the Chase. And it seems, I don't know if it's every single set, but you know they like to drop in two Chases now and then. We're seeing an Elite 113. Carlito is the Chase variant, and then there's a second Chase variant in CM Punk, which is going to be in the black and white gear. So I think that we're going to get the Macho Man gear and a black and white CM Punk Chase that we reported on just the other day. If you want some more details on that, go check out that news video. But this one, this is his first live appearance on WWE television, not counting his, you know, his reimagining or his re-debut or his first entrance from Survivor Series, which we're getting in the Mattel Creations exclusive with the white t-shirt from War Games with a shirt and everything. You guys remember that figure that's coming soon? Should be, I mean, shoot, any month now, I imagine that figure should be showing up. And not counting the Top Talents Elite CM Punk, which is his first MSG live event gear, which was his first match back in WWE. This was his first televised gear back in WWE wrestling an actual match, which was the Rumble where he got injured or whatever the hell it is. And I'm hoping that we're going to get a damn bash attire with the white, which should, I imagine that's probably going to be an ultimate or some of some kind, hopefully. But this figure does look good, and this is going to be another figure in Elite Series 115. Now, the only thing about this, again, it could be a chase. There could be a chase CM Punk, but they may choose somebody else in the line, which we'll get into, but I, I have an idea on who I think it could be. Uh, as far as the Chase variant is concerned, we'll get into that. I'll reveal that figure last, but the first figure that we did not know about that's going to be in Elite 115 is going to be Drew McIntyre. Now, one thing about it, I can already hear the moans and groans from here. If it's going to be a Drew McIntyre that looks like every damn Drew McIntyre you've ever seen, right? Going to be in the wrestling tights. It's going to have no real... D it's going to have regular standard boots, knee pads, Drew McIntyre head sculpt, and just some different trunks. I think people are going to have a heavy yawn at that. I think that a lot of his most recent elites that we've seen in the top talents and these different figures have been really good. They've been probably the best Drew McIntyres ever since they changed his skin tone in Elite 83 and they double jointed arms and they've had these upgraded things. The figures of Drew McIntyre have been immaculate. They've just been really plain Jane. They've been really straightforward. They've been the same thing over and over again. I think they could really change it up if this were to be a promo attire Drew McIntyre. You know, they've, they've done really good things with promo gears in the past. We've seen it kind of start to mingle into the line, right? We've seen some more guys getting in promo attires and stuff like that, I think this would be a home run to give Drew McIntyre some jeans, give him a, you know, a black tank top, maybe a cloth goods black jacket. Don't give us rubber jacket, no rubber jacket. If they were to give us, even if they did a newly sculpted torso that was similar to a Dean Ambrose Elite, like imagine a Dean Ambrose Elite, but they upgraded it and made it into a more jacked individual. Give him the, you know, the double jointed arms and everything, maybe a ponytail head sculpt, a down head sculpt or whatever. You could even use one of the old head sculpts with the hair down. I think that would work too, but give us a newly tooled ponytail tail head sculpt and then throw in a cloth goods leather jacket of some kind. I think that would be an immaculate figure. I think that that would really make this figure really something that people want, you know, because you could use that as a base for other people that wear the same garb. You just switch the head sculpt and it's like, bam, now I have a Kevin Nash or how now I have a whoever the hell you want, you know? So I think that that would really make this figure different. Now, the only thing that is going to ruin this figure for me is if it is just another run of the mill Drew McIntyre and everything like that. So I think that would really bring the figure down. I hope that that's not what they do here, but you never know. You never know. But looking into this set, man, I mean, every single figure, for the most part, unless the CM Punk figure, which we know already, it's not going to be a throwback. So every single figure in this set is going to be a modern figure. And you're probably like, well, who the hell's the last figure? Well, that's what I'm getting into, Brad. It's going to be Tyler Bate. Now, as a big Tyler Bate fan... This is a big deal because he hasn't had a figure since that random exclusive from way back in the day that was a dreadful figure. You want to talk about terrible figures or figures that really weren't good at all? You're talking about that UK sort of exclusive. I think it was like ringside exclusive UK champion Tyler Bate. What a terrible figure. Just looked nothing like the carry. It looked like a John Cena creator wrestler something. Looked nothing like Tyler Bate. He was super pale. He was super undersized. And I know he's not the biggest guy ever, but did this man no favors. You know, I'm hoping that this this guy will have a ripped up torso. He'll have, you know, nice sized arms and thighs and everything. Updated head sculpt. We have not had a Tyler Bate in so many years. And I think this is going to look great with the hair down and the beard and facial hair. He should come with like a cloth goods jacket of some kind. Hopefully it'll be the white attire. I don't really care what attire it is. This is why I think that 
Tyler Bate will probably be the chase in this set because we haven't had one in so long. Why not knock out two elites back-to-back -back like that? It just would make a lot of sense to give us two elite Tyler Bates here, and hopefully that will be the case. But we won't know until we see the figure, but I'm very excited for this. Tyler Bate, he's needed a figure for so long. People have been begging and begging for a Tyler Bate. Now, I know that people that only collect legends, people that only collect throwbacks or you know retro-style figures or talent, this wave is completely maxed out with talent that is modern day. This is all modern day. I know you have CM Punk who you could say is kind of a flashback. You could say that The Rock is a flashback, but it's all set in the modern times. So I don't really think you're getting any flashback figures here in this set, which I know people are going to moan and groan about, but I think at the end of the day, I I, I don't know. I, I They always said that they try to put one women's talent. They try to put a NXT talent. They try to put a flashback talent, but I don't know, man. I feel like there is nothing here, but we do have the great... The one thing that is good about that, keeping the main line up to date is that you can put these Legends figures or these throwback figures. You have the Legends line. You have the Greatest Hits Legends line. You have the From the Vault series. You have the Best of Monday Night Wars. You have the current Monday Night Wars. So maybe that's something to do with it. They're venturing away from putting more flashbacks in the main Elite line, but some of those other figures are harder to, to obtain. You know, any main line figure is way easier to obtain rather than a store exclusive or something of that nature. So that's just some things to think about, man. But that is the full Elite Series 115. I like some elements of it. I don't like some elements of of it. I, again, I would like a taste of different eras in each figure wave, but being a full modern wave, we do have some good figures coming here, and I hope that all of them turn out good. I'm probably out of the whole set, probably most looking forward to the Tyler Bate. Probably looking the most forward to the Tyler Bate, because I think the R-Truth, while it is good to have an update, I think that the Elite 78 is so good, it's not necessarily, it's not a huge upgrade from the figure. I still want the R-Truth and excited for the R-Truth. I just think that Tyler Bate is a guy, it's, it's basically like adding a whole brand new character to the line, because his figure is so much different from now. I mean, the technology, the way he looks, he has tattoos. I mean, there's so much that they could include with that figure that's going to pretty much be like a brand new character. So that should be fun, man. So we'll see. We'll see what comes of it. But this looks to be a, a, an okay wave if you're a modern collector here. I think this is this is okay. But if you're a flashback collector, I already know you are uh, probably excited because you're saving some money here. There's not a lot of money to spend there. So that, that's definitely good. But I did want to get on here and talk about Elite 115 being leaked out there. I thought for sure my LWO5 pack would arrive yesterday. Apparently it's going to arrive today. It makes me vomit, so I do, hopefully that review will be up in the morning, I am excited to get that pack though, it should be fun, hopefully it will check all the boxes and be a good set, we'll see about all of those things, man, but I'm getting the hell out, thank you guys so very much for watching, hope you guys did enjoy, leave me all of your thoughts on Elite 115 down below, are you skipping on the set, you passing, which ones are you purchasing, man, let me know all those things down below, if you're a flashback only collector, let me know your thoughts as well, huge shout out to our Patreon members, man, thank you guys so very much for your continued support as always, man, always appreciate the fellas over there, thank you guys so very much as always, man, but I'm getting the hell out, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.